All right, question number one, let's get right into it. So we have, let's c denote an arbitrary constant, then this integral dx equals what? All right, guys, so this one's actually pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and write it out, e to the e times x dx. So what I'm going to do is just a u substitution. So I'll have u equals e times x. Therefore, du is going to be equal to e times dx. Now, I want to go ahead and solve for dx. So let's go ahead and do that. So dx is going to equal du divided by e. Okay, so now whenever I rewrite this, I'm going to have, uh, let's see here, e to the u divided by e du. And if I do some algebra here in exponent rule, I'm going to have e to the u minus 1 du. And from here, uh, if you want to make it look really nice, we can just do w equals u minus 1. Therefore, dw is going to be equal to du. Okay, so when we do this, I'm just going to get uh, e to the w dw. This whole integral, well, that's just going to equal e to the w plus c, right? Sorry, I kind of run out of room. So if that's the case, now I'm just going to plug in for w. So w is u minus 1. So I will have e to the u minus 1. Uh, let's see here, plus c. And then I know that u, well, that's just e times x. So it'll be e to the e times x minus 1 plus c. So that is going to be my final answer. And that's going to be answer choice A. All right, guys, so hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And I will see you in that next video.